and welcome back ladies and gentlemen we are playing the walking dead uh episode one uh we've done a couple episodes already trying to get through this um i apologize for the drop in quality uh something's going on with my recording software but i think that this will be okay so we're going to go ahead and resume where we were and see how it turns out um Maybe. What just happened there? Alright. So, if you've never played this before, it's based off the graphic novel, um, or at least loosely based on the graphic novel. Not really so much on the show, except obviously it's the same world and whatnot. But uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up where we left off, which our character, Lee, um, had rescued this little girl, Clementine. And we are held up in a corner store with these other people. And we're about to talk to this lady and go find um, another guy who's gone out to get gasoline and is trapped by some of the zombies. So anyway, uh, let's see. I can give her, give her an energy bar. Let's see what happens if I do that. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. <laughs> Thanks. So we found the little girl, Clementine, um, holed up in her tree house. Her parents were on vacation, and her babysitter was bitten, and so she was just kind of hiding from things. Um, and we've just kind of been taking care of her as we've gone along. And our main character, Lee, he was on his way to prison when the game started uh, for supposedly killing his wife's lover I guess is what it was he walked in on them or something and then supposedly killed them but we don't really know for sure that's just what was told to us at the beginning of the game so hey, let's talk to Carly and let's get going hey Carly you ready to hit it? well let's ask her if she's okay first that radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. She's a reporter. And she worked with a station down in Atlanta. The interesting thing is that with this game is that when you talk to people, they kind of... They remember what you say to them and how you act towards them and things like that. And it's kind of interesting because it changes how the story works. So there were some choices I made earlier on that probably would have changed the story completely. So let's go ahead and head out with you her. ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. So I think we're heading out the back entrance from the office into the alley. Because that's the only other entrance. The front one's locked. Oh, there goes our sound. Oh, here we go. Get down. That was creepy. So zombies are attracted to noise, basically. Oh, there's where our friends held up, it looks like. Okay, so we Can got we Glenn. Get out of here before any of these things notice us. He was supposed to get gas, though. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right. Oh yeah, we can. You guys are suicidal. Over yeah, we over can over leave her. her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Grace. All right. Damsel. We'll go save the damsel. I guess we don't have a choice in that one. Okay. Do I get a gun or something? What am I doing here? I'm kind of floating. What's going on? 
Okay. Let's see. Oh, I think it was just giving us a a layout of the land. You don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's more than up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Alright, so let's look around and see what we can find. Now over on this side of the wall, we can talk to people, so let's talk to them. Okay, well, let's peek over the wall. Oh, man. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Yeah, so we got one close up. We got... We can hide by that RV. If we're quiet and keep our heads down. Okay, so we can hide by the RV. That's the only thing I can see right now. Okay, there's something over there we can look at. Or not. I thought there was something over there by that guy. Let's try again. Okay. So it looks like we need to go quietly and run over to the RV spot. So let's see what happens when we do that. Okay. Okay, probably not a good idea to talk to him right now. But let's see. A little naked out here, except for Carly's gone and we can't use that much. Okay, so can I walk over this way? Okay, so there's someone over there. Let's look at them. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Okay, what about over here? We got the wall. We got Glenn. Really, there's nothing else. Okay, so there's nothing else there. So let's go back over to the brick wall. Okay, so let's see what I have here. Here's a pillow. Let's take the pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Oh, so can we give her the pillow or what's over here? We can hide by that pickup. Let's they see. really want to get into that room. What else? They really want to get into that room. Okay, so let's go over by the pickup. Okay, so now let's see. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Alright. So I'm going to use the what pillow. Tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Okay, so let's look. Let's look over here. What do we see? We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow looking near the front. What else we got? That's where we can go. Let's look at that He's guy. Okay, not really sure what else our options are. So I can break that car window, but I think, I don't know if they're going to hear it. Should I break it anyways? I think I'm going to have to. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Shoot. Stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Well, how do we get it quietly? I have that pillow. What are you gonna do with that? I don't know. I have deja vu. 
Not without tools or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. Okay, so let's go ahead. I guess we're going to have to see if there's anything else we can do with things. I don't see anything else over here, so let's run back over here. Okay, so now let's look. Let's look. We got that one. I already picked up that pillow. Do I see anything up here? Okay. So let's go back, run over by the RV. Oh boy, this game. This game. Elements of a point and click. Have I not mentioned before on the channel how much I dislike point and clicks? I know we're gonna need weapons, but I don't have any. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Anything to do over there? No. Alright, let's go back to over by the wall. The only thing we have, the only option we actually have is to break that window. We're going to have to break it. I don't know any other way to do anything here. They're not giving me any more options. Oh my goodness. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I might end up getting killed. If I can't get in here, but I need that screwdriver, and they're not really giving me options. Oh, now they say I can open the door? Really? Or not. They didn't give me that option before. Alright, so when I click up, it takes me to the window. When I click, click right, it also takes me to the window. Alright, let's try smashing it again. I'm done trying to punch out window. I think I found a pretty damn good way to step these guys quietly. Except... Except you're not letting me. What are you gonna do with that? I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, Glenn. I don't know. Making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. I need to combine the pillow with my fist. How do I do that? How do I do that? Alright guys, I honestly have no idea. They're not giving me any options here that I can see. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Well, you know what? You're not giving me any other option to do anything here. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Oh, okay. What the hell? I have to do stuff several times. Okay. So I just have to repeat stuff over and over again until something different happens, apparently. That is annoying. Okay, so let's check this door. Ooh, a spark plug. I want that. I want all the things I can pick up. What else? Anything else in this car? Gear shift. Yeah, I know. Everything comes in handy in this game. Oh, okay. down. Don't want to spend too long doing that. What about over here? Just Glenn. Carly. Cover that can't just roll away. All right, let's push. Let's push the car. That was awesome. <laughs> okay. So we got two of them down. 
two down. Again, the door. No. Again, the window. Can she shoot out the window? Yeah, you do it, Glenn. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay. What the heck are you talking about? Okay. That apparently happened. Whoever's crying in there is. Okay. So I can take the all. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Alright, so now we've got a couple things. Can we do anything else with this truck inside here? No. So now let's go back over here. Okay, we're making progress. We're making progress. This is the motor pool episode. That's what this is. Okay, so now I'm going to want to, let's see, can I scramble this guy's brains? Yep, I'm going to come up behind him and scramble his brains, hidden from the other guys. Okay. Alright, we got that. Now this guy. Oh, we got his attention. Apparently we're more intelligent here. Oh, in his head, in his head. Hit him in the head. Okay. Most of them down. Ooh, an axe. Definitely need that. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Nope. We got an axe now. Definitely taking the axe. Two more. That should help. Alright, so let's see. Anything else? Nope. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Please be right behind me. Okay, let's go up the stairs. This is going to be fun. Okay. Still no options to interact with them yet. Got to get closer. And strike. And strike. Rad. Rad. That was pretty rad, I'm not going to lie. All right, you can come out now. Hello in there. We're here to help. Go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Yep, we're coming in. I've got an axe, and the axe don't ask. Here we go. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Yep. You look like a junkie. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Oh no. 
You'll we'll just go back in your room. I don't <laughs> Poor Glenn. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Um. Okay, we'll leave. Okay, we'll leave. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. No, we're not giving up the gun. They're, they're satanic. Uh, you can't you have a gun. Do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Um, that's creepy. My sound's screwing up there. Oh, I hope it didn't freeze on us. Um, options. Oh, there we go. Resume. This is oh. crazy. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Please! Whoa. Oh, man. Everyone okay? Everyone okay? Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. 